people need to die before the people realize there needs to be a change. It was completely organized by teens and their voices rang front and center at the rally. Kids are more invested in this issue now because of um, what we've experienced as a school with lockdowns, with friends we've lost. Several took the mic to talk about how gun violence impacted their lives and changes they want to see. Among those to talk, Paul Kramer, the father of Will Kramer, who was shot at that party in 2016. When there's another shooting, um, the, the wounds get re reactivated, re-traumatized, so to speak. Kramer says the energy, the enthusiasm for change gives him hope they can reduce the likelihood that other families and communities will face the same tragedy. It's sad that we haven't been able to do it. That's the job of the adults is is to make the changes when when they need to take place, but we haven't gotten it done. The teens encouraged voter registration and said it's time to get rid of politicians who don't support their agenda. In State Senator Marco Elias believes the wheels of change are in motion. The reality is we could have done more and we should have done more. And the reason we didn't is because we didn't have this huge movement. Elias believes a longer legislative session will give them a chance to draft more bills and take on some of the controversial issues. Really taking taking on the issue of assault weapons, what, should they be legal at all? And if they are, what are the background checks and age restrictions? What about high capacity magazines? What about a waiting period? Students put painted hands on a bench they're working on as a memorial to Jake, Anna and Jordan. They hope a more lasting memorial will be a change in law that prevents communities from dealing with this in the future. And the teens said this does not end today. They want to continue to have more events like this and also are pushing voter registration, saying more of them need to learn about these issues and flex that muscle at the ballot box. In Muckleteo, Amy Marino, King 5 News.